G'day guys, my name's Nick and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, Elia, me, Lisa and my daughter Alara. So all four of us as a family, we're out at Glastonbury Creek and we're doing a bit of full driving and adventuring. So this is the creek down here. So we've just done a little short walk and it's a pretty amazing spot. So there's an awesome little campground there with nice green grass and also some toilets. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time here chilling by the creek. We're gonna have a bit of lunch and then we'll hit one of the full drive tracks around the area. So stay tuned guys and we'll get stuck into it. So we just went, went for a short walk. It was only like 100 meters, 50 meters down to the creek and um, pretty easy walk and you can go enjoy yourself down by the creek, maybe have a swim or you know go for a bit of a walk through the water. It's pretty nice. So I think it's about lunchtime, I'm getting pretty hungry. So the car's parked over here. And this is at the end of the campsites. And there's a full drive track right there which goes off the end of the campsite, which is the one we're gonna do. So when we go out for the day, we usually keep it pretty simple. So we just take some dips, and we've got some pre-made sandwiches in here, and just some drinks, some water, and a can of soft drink. So pretty simple. And Elliot's got a sandwich in here as well. So we'll just have a bit of lunch. <laughs> you liking your sandwich, Elia? Ready? Good bite. Mmm. What an awesome campsite, guys. This is it here. You can see how nice and grassy it is. Nice and green. And you've got the beautiful Glastonbury Creek. Just 50 metres walk away. Alright guys, so we've finished having lunch, so now it's time to air down the tyres. So I'm going to drop the tyres down to about 18 psi because I know the track is pretty rocky and there's a bit of mud and water crossings and that sort of thing. So I'll let the tyres down to about 18 and that should be perfect. And now the track is just off the end of the campsite. So this is the campsite in here and then you just follow that track all the way through and it um, becomes quite challenging. And there's a couple of little rock steps and you know river crossings or water crossings and stuff along the way, so it's pretty cool. So I'll drop tire pressures down and we'll get stuck into it. Okay guys, so we've gone down the track a little bit and it's just starting to get a little bit rough. So I'm gonna drop the vehicle into low range. So pop her in neutral, flick the switch into low range. You can hear it clunk in, then we can go back to drive. And now what I'm gonna do is come over here and hold this down for 10 seconds. So this will turn my traction control completely off. There we go. And now we have traction control off and we're in low range. So we're ready to go through this next obstacle. So I usually like to turn traction control off in the Isuzu because I find that it actually hinders you more than it helps you. It's not actually a very good system. So in my opinion and my experience, I usually just turn it off. So uh, let's get stuck into this next bit. Looks like a bit of fun.
All right, guys, so how fun was that? So we've come up a couple of little rock steps and, you know, it's really cool and really fun mucking around on little rock steps like that and picking your lines and going real nice and slow and just crawling, letting the tyres, you know, get the traction. I, I really like that type of driving. So we've come to the next step and this is pretty much the most challenging section. There is another section up slightly further, which is also a bit of a challenge, but it's not as bad as this, I don't believe. So you got sort of some really big rocks here and it's a little bit washed out in some sections. So I'll pick my line through here and we'll see how we go. Take it nice and easy, nice and slow. Just let those tires find the traction and the suspension articulate through it all and uh, we'll take it nice and easy. So let's go. So that was pretty fun. So now we're moving on down the track and we did have some recent heavy rain. So we had some really bad flooding in Gympie recently and it's washed out the tracks a fair bit. So we got a couple of really washed out ruts to go through now and it sort of leads down into a creek bed. So we'll take it nice and slow and uh, see how we go. So there you go guys, the track was pretty washed out after that bit of rain we've had recently. So it's the same with this section as well. So you can see, you know, huge washout down here and it's really washed away the track a fair bit. So we've really got to pick our lines through here because it does get quite off camber because this is where it gets a little bit sketchy because it's really off camber and um, sort of leans towards that rut down there, which is where you do not want to be. So what I'm going to do it's just take it nice and slow. So when I get to this section here, I'm just gonna leave it in first gear low range and I'm not gonna to touch the brakes and I'm just gonna let it come through here nice and smoothly. So there's no chance of, if I did hit the brakes, of it slipping down into this hole. So if I let it keep that little bit of momentum through here and just keep driving through, we shouldn't have any dramas because the MUX is nice and low and nice and stable. So we'll just take this nice and easy, get through this bit and then there's a nice little creek crossing down below. So we'll keep going and I think there's a few little mud holes and water crossings up ahead as well. So 
So we'll just turn to the left here at the end of the track and um, we'll keep going. <laughs> Bit of mud early, a quick look. Oh, mud! Phew. Oh, she's a bit deep. She's sloppy. Daddy, yeah. Mama. And mum, yeah. Mama. Yes, and Alara, good job. Okay. What's your name? Angel. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> it was really good, good actually. <laughs> Just getting better. So we're following along the track, guys, and um, it gets pretty easy from that section on. There is a couple of little water crossings and um, stuff like that along the rest of the track. So we'll keep plodding along and enjoy our day out here. It's pretty nice scenery, just cruising along through the forestry here. So at the start of the track, it's really like dense rainforest and then it turns to like this real rocky sort of area, which is pretty nice. So we'll keep going along and uh, see what we find. What do you reckon, Elia? Nothing now. You got nothing to say now, hey? Because I flicked the camera on now. You got nothing to say. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Well, that was pretty soft guys, far out. That was really soft. I actually didn't expect it to be that bad. So we went through here a couple of weeks ago and I don't think it was that bad, um, but it's definitely softened up over the last few weeks of rain. Um, so speaking of rain, Lisa just got just soaked got out rain. there. <laughs> so much rain. And they were expecting rain and now we got rain. So this is gonna make the rest of the track pretty interesting because there is a few more little creek crossings and river crossings to come up. Um, but they shouldn't come up too much, so we should be alright. So we'll keep plodding along and see how we go. Look at Alara just peacefully sleeping. She's just sleeping. Looks all this four-wheel drive and she's just like, oh, I'll just have a nap. And then earlier, you're going a bit loopy, aren't you? We've strapped you in for too long, I think. But it's just started raining, so we can't go outside. You're gonna have some, she's having some tarnies. Some sultanas, hey? Is that yummy? Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Delicious sultanas. Lucky we got through that last mud bog, hey? Otherwise you would have had to get out and run the winch rope. <laughs> so they were expecting rain today. Um, they were saying up to two mil of rain, so it uh, finally did come. It's around three o'clock, so it finally came as expected. So now we've just got to finish off the rest of the track in the rain and see how we go. So the rest of the track isn't too bad. There is a few little crossings and a few little mud pits, like the one coming up here. Um, but we should be all right to get through the rest of the track um, without too many dramas. So what I've been doing for these little muddy bits is I put it in second gear low range and just a little bit of momentum. And then we'll just go straight through the middle. Wow. You. <laughs> wow. No dramas. Yeah, Elia says, wow. <laughs> Good girl. Was that fun? What do you reckon? <laughs> then back into first gear low range for these steep bits.
So this is the end of the track now, and I think this is the part that the regional council actually maintains. So it looks like they've just recently graded it because there's a couple of houses just up here, so it looks like they look after it pretty well. And I believe there's one last little creek crossing up here. And um, then we're home free. Yeah, it's pretty dry this creek crossing so last time we came through there was a bit of water in here but it looks like since they've graded it it's, it's sort of um all gone away so they've raised it up a bit by looks too easy so we've just come to a t intersection now at the end of the track and if we go right here it heads back out to the highway and if you go left it sort of heads back to glastonbury and to point pure lookout so we're going to zip up to point pure lookout for a bit of a look and um, we'll show you guys a bit of a video of point pure lookout when we get there so stay tuned and we'll hit the tracks Now we're at the Point Pure turn off, so we'll turn right here and head up the hill. So this will lead us up the hill to some of the lookouts, so there's a couple of different lookouts up here and uh, Point Pure is bit, uh, probably the biggest one up there, so we'll go check that out first. in your Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you can do it in a two-wheel drive. <laughs> it's probably not ideal, but it can be done. So here we go guys, point pure lookout. So we'll pull in here and have a bit of a look. So we made it to Point Pure Lookout. So Elia and I had just gone for a little walk. Wanna go look at the lookout? You go check it out? <laughs> You're poking your tongue out. That's cheeky. <laughs> so we're gonna go for a little bit of a walk and it's a pretty easy track. It's just a nice 150 meter walk or so down to the lookout. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. So let's take in this beautiful scenery. So the rain's held off for a little bit. So hopefully it'll stay away just for a couple of minutes while we check out this lookout. What do you see? Wow. Can you hear a bird? What is this area? Birdie? <gasps> <laughs> so here we are, here's the lookout. So if you are into abseiling or climbing, you can actually do abseiling and climbing off the cliffs here, which is pretty cool. So we'll go down to the lookout and check it out, see, yeah. how, see how it looks. What do you reckon, Elia? This is pretty cool, hey? Yeah. Wow! Can you see the lookout? You see the big log. Do you want to walk along it? 
Hold hands. Good girl. You. Careful. Oh, you're doing good. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Wow, yeah. That's right. So we walk out onto the boardwalk and check it out. Eight. Wow, look at the cliffs earlier, look. Wow. Whoa. It's a pretty big cliff, isn't it? Beautiful look out. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Wow. It's really cool, isn't it? Very nice look out. Even with a bit of rain around, it's still clear enough to see decent distance so that's just awesome and you can see the abseiling points all down here wow <laughs> if you want to go abseiling so that's what you think of it hey wow wow is that what you think of it this is a pretty cool little look at isn't it wow you see you've got a big cliff edge there beautiful view this is Point Pure Lookout. Absolutely awesome. So there you go guys, that's Point Pure Lookout and it's a pretty cracking little spot. So I think that's going to end our trip for today. So it's getting a little bit late, so we're going to have to head back. So we'll head back down to the highway and air up our tyres and head home. But it's been an awesome adventure and really appreciate you guys joining us today. So if you've watched the whole video through, really appreciate it. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more full driving accessory fitting and maintenance videos. Cheers guys, have a good one.